Jesus says, you know them by their fruit. Fruit is character. Not the, is, are you hearing me? So in leadership, we appoint character, not skills alone. A man with a character can be trained in skill. But a man with a skill, it is difficult to train character to them. You, you know, these are the principles. You said the Lord has sent you to this church, to that church, whatever you're watching online. I have been raised like this to understand divine order. A true, somebody was submitted under, no, I'm here before when the Lord told me that I'm coming to Shiro, before I committed, I had to speak to my spiritual father what the Lord has told me. He knows and he prays for me. He knows I'm here. You, on a Sunday, you're not going to show up. You don't even text your pastor to tell your pastor you will not be here. What does that show you? Your attitude and your spirit Spirit was never trained. Two things, you are ignorant, you're never trained, or you are just rebellious. So, then that limits you. Are you hearing me? Where you would have accessed in the supernatural, God cannot trust a rebel with greater influence. These are basics of Christianity. And it, that's why it has become so, because Christians were never taught relationship. Foundation denotes relationship. Because before we were taught identity, I told you, isn't it? And our walk, where you stand as a king in Christ. Let me say this to you. Your walk life, somebody say my walk life. That's your relationship with God and with men. That's why initially, I don't care if I don't speak the other three things I told you and I stay on the first one, the last of the flesh and in connection, are you hearing me? With the volitional, I mean emotional commitment based on what you feel, are you hearing me? What you feel, what you see, those things must be taken to the cross to be crucified, are you hearing me? It is your character that sets your audience. It is your personal development that sets your audience. It is the diligence of skill. So do you see a man diligent? What is diligence? Consistence. Nobody commits to promote an inconsistent rolling stone, drifting and common drifter who is undependable and reliable. Today you appear, the next day you are a ninja. The department I entrusted to you, who would take it on? You are, why? You have never crucified the flesh. You are an emotional leader. Just because the someone doesn't please you, the next day you don't show up. You are just emotional baby. You require milk. You are in a spiritual pamper with a dummy on your mouth. And as far as God is concerned, he's not discussing with you kingdom business. You are still a child. You, have you are aging bodily, but you are not growing in Christ. You are psychologically, what we call in psychology, you are fixated. What is fixation in psychology? Where an individual fails to develop beyond a certain stage of life that even when he's 50, still behaves like a teenager. You were, a psy you were emotionally, behaviorally fixated. You were stagnant in a certain realm of spirit. That's why when the word comes, how do you know you're fixated? You begin to divert it. You know, you are the word allocator. When it comes, you become personal than being convicted. What should have convicted you? You are offended by it. You know you're a baby. Let me tell you something. Spiritual maturity is your personal responsibility. And it is what you must subscribe to before we speak about ministry, which is service. It is required in all stewardship for a man to be faithful. So the criterion for service in God is faithfulness.